Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and a warm welcome if you are new. My name is Desiree and sometimes on my channel I like to do food reviews. So just recently a few different things at different restaurants came out. So um, Burger King now has a ghost pepper Whopper. Um, Baskin Robbins has a ghost pepper ice cream which sounds a little intriguing. I might try that. And today I went to Taco Bell if you haven't been able to tell so in the um, title already. But I got their loaded truffle nacho fries i already opened it um, because i wanted to take a quick picture before i start eating it um and they made it really fresh i got this at like 10 25 in the morning <laughs> so it's super early so yeah i'm probably the first person to get it today anyways it's been out for maybe a few days now maybe a week by the time you see this but um i like doing the little comparison so this is the advertisement on their website here so it says loaded nacho loaded truff nacho fries so it comes with steak cheese nacho cheese oops i lost it oh there truff sauce which is supposed to be like their spicy truff sauce i've never actually even tried that sauce before or and i don't think i've ever tried their nacho fries i could be mistaken tomatoes reduced fat sour cream so and then you of course you could do some add-ons like guacamole jalapenos and stuff but this says it is about 500 calories and then i paid 4.97 at my location for this so let me do a little comparison real quick. So it looks about right. Um, I have to say, let me pick this back up. It looks like there's quite a, quite a good amount of steak. Um, at the end of this review, I'll tell you if I think it's worth the price, worth the calories, um, and a little rating, of course. But yeah, I don't think I've ever tried their fries. I don't think I ever tried their steak, and I've never tried the truff sauce. So I was reading a little bit about it. But I guess you can buy the, this sauce for like almost $18 or something ridiculous. Um, truffle sauce does have truffle in it. So if you're not a truffle type of person, maybe this is something you can avoid. But if you are a fan and want to try it, it also um, on their advertisement on their board, it did say that like you can add the sauce to any other of your favorites at Taco Bell, obviously for a premium. Um, but just like all their other sauces for uh, under a dollar more, you could add the sauce. So gonna try it out if my voice sounds weird it's because allergies are awful here there's a tree back there but it's like one of the few trees that aren't super orange or yellow right now but yeah allergies are awful so hoping that something spicy will open up the you know sinuses but yeah let's try it i don't even know where to go let's try a really saucy one hopefully it's been the container has been open enough long enough that it's not gonna like completely burn my mouth so here's a really saucy one Okay, I have to say I do like their fries, even though it's uh, kind of loaded down, which, I mean, when you see this, if you order this, you know it's gonna the fries are going to be soggy. But I have to say, I, I think I want to try the fries without stuff on it, too. Okay, so that Taco Bell steak is actually pretty good. Oh, and I'm not sponsored at all to do this review, by the way. I have to put that little disclaimer. So, tried the fry with the sauces tried the meat and now I'm going to try all three together. Okay. It's not that bad. It's it, I mean it's good. I'm not saying it's bad. Try another bite here. I have to say it's very very messy so I'm kind of scared eating this in the car. It is early in the day so I really don't want to go home and change. I was out working this morning. Um, it got kind of slow there. That's why I like to uh, do these food reviews at around 10.30 or so. That's when it's kind of slow. Okay. So that sauce, it's it's not bad. It's also not my favorite. For hot sauces, my favorite like hot sauce is um, La Victoria Salsa Brava. I think that's the brand. I buy it from Meyer. It's like three dollars and change for it, uh, like a ketchup sized bottle. And this one is more of like a Tabasco style, um, kind of. I think I taste a little bit of vinegar. Don't taste truffle at all, but it's spicy, like Tabasco, vinegary, 
based like Tabasco. So it's not my favorite hot sauce. Um, the fries are good. I do like the fries. The steak is good. The cheese is good. Um, I just won't be adding that truff sauce to um, any of my favorites that I would get at Taco Bell. Um, is it worth the price? Yeah, I mean, that's a good amount. Um, I feel like Taco Bell or like one of the last few fast food restaurants that you can like get a good amount of calories for your money. <laughs> Whereas like if you go to um, McDonald's now, it's like $10 for a combo, which is like, to me, it's too much. I'd rather go spend $10 at like Culver or um, Five Guys for that amount. But yeah, I feel like it's worth the price. It's fun. Like that sauce, if you buy it on its own, it's pricey. So if you do want to try it, if you're a fan of hot sauces and truffle sauce, then yeah, I would say try it out. Um, it said it was about 500 calories for that. I would rather buy, I would rather get like a burrito, a different type of burrito at Taco Bell. Um, it's not 500 calories, but I think they still have their grilled cheese burrito. Like it's a burrito and then they put cheese, shredded cheese on it and like put it in the flat iron thing. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's good. That's more than 500 calories, but I say, um, get something if you're trying to count your calories, get something a little different. I don't think this is worth the calories. It is worth the price. And I will give this a, mm, I would give it a 6.5 out of 10. Uh, I hoped it would be a little better, but it's not bad. It's a loaded fry. I mean, it's exactly what it is. It's got fries with a ton of toppings on it. Um, I have to say like going to a restaurant sometimes you get a loaded fry and there's like not enough toppings on it this has a ton of toppings on it i didn't see the shredded oh no actually there was a little bit of shredded cheese it just got melted on there because the fries were extremely hot they gave me that little warning before i drove off that they are extremely hot so i knew it'd be fresh um but yeah everything's on there no complaints really um it's just uh not as good as i hoped it would be and i am a big french fry eater so um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, give me suggestions below um, for new things to try, different places to eat at. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give me that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're new, and I hope everyone has a wonderful and blessed day. Bye, everyone.